All right, so in this problem, we have to simplify the following expression, and we will do so by collecting like terms and simplifying. So let's take a look first at the um, variable with the highest exponent, and that will be our x to the power of 3. So our first like term will be 2x to the power of 3 and 3x to the power of 3. And when we simplify them, when we combine the like terms, we get... Let's write our full expression. We'll open our parentheses and we get a negative x to the power of 3 because when we combine 2 and negative 3, you get a negative 1. All right, so now let's move on to our next like term and that will be x to the power of 2. So we have 3x squared, negative 4x squared, and a positive x squared. All right, so when we combine all these like terms, they actually will all cancel out because we have 3 minus 4 plus 1, which gives us 0. So we don't have to write anything for x to the power of 2, and we can move on to our next like term. Our next like term will be x, um, x to the power of 1. So that will just be this negative 5x, and we will write it right over here, and we'll find our next like term. So our next like term is going to be the, um, the numbers without any variables. So we have negative 9 plus 1, which will give us a negative 8. All right, so now that we've collected all of the like terms, and now we can simplify by distributing this 2 into our big parentheses right over here. So 2 times negative, 3 x, negative x to the power of 3 gives us a negative 2x cubed. And now 2 times negative 5x gives us a negative 10x. And 2 times negative 8 gives us a negative 16. And because we cannot further collect more like terms or simplify, this will be our final answer. And that corresponds exactly with answer B. Therefore, B will be our final answer.